Hello ladies and gentlemen and movie lovers of all kind and welcome back to the channel. As always, I am your host Brett Murphy and for today it's going to be another very special video as we are going to be going through my entire Blu-ray collection. Yeah, we've got 4Ks, we've got seal books, we've got box sets, oh my, and we are going to go through each and every single one of them. Um, as you can see, we're not in my normal setting right now. There's no green screen, nothing fancy going on behind me. It's actually very barren. We are in the harsh environments of my basement, which is currently under renovations. So not the normal setup, not the prettiest setup, but uh, it suits what we're doing today. I'm going to go through all these as quick as possible because there are a lot to go through and I don't want this to be like an hour long video. I might talk about some that hold maybe a little bit more significance than others, a touch more, but for the most part, we're going to try and breeze through them as quick as we can. And we're going to start off with a few steel books. It's also, I don't know if it's in like alphabetical order or what's happening. They're all just here, so we'll go through them. First, Zombieland Steelbook, great zombie movie, great comedy movie. After that, Wrath of the Titans, only got this because I got this one and Clash for like dirt cheap. It was like $10 for the two of them, but I honestly think it actually looks fairly pretty, so I don't mind that one too much. Uh, the movie's garbage. The Steelbook's nice. Wonder Woman, I love the art on this. It looks like it's a cartoon or like a comic book, I suppose. Did a really good job on that one. The Town, great Ben Affleck movie, great heist movie, well worth watching for sure. Next, we'll go one, two, three with these bad boys. We got The Purge, The Purge Anarchy, and The Purge Election Year. They're fine movies to watch. I get some enjoyment out of them. You know, they're just kind of nonsensical horror popcorn flicks. I love the artwork on them. Working on getting the first Purge to match and kind of complete the set. Uh, the Hobbit Trilogy, not in 4K, not the extended editions, but it's got a very pretty steel book. I believe this was a gift to me when it first came out. Um, then we have, boom, boom, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. Both of these have the 4K discs in them as I bought the 4K and upgraded and I just shoved them in the steelbooks because I love my steelbooks. Next is The Italian Job, Mark Wahlberg, Jason Satham, what, Charlize Theron's in it too? Yeah, whole cast, great movie. Flip that one. Terminator Genisys. How the hell you pronounce that? Um, yeah, it's not a great movie. It's definitely the worst Terminator movie, but it's got a pretty steel book. I like it an awful lot. I like the white. I like the red. I like how they, it blends together. And I'm also a completionist, so I had to get that one too. Suicide Squad, also in 4K. Once again, garbage movie. Great steel book. Completionist in me. Had to get it for my DC set. Next, we got a big bad boy box set. It's the Scream Factory Ultimate Collector's Edition of Friday the 13th that just recently released. Most of the movies are garbage, but the set is badass, so I had to get it. After that, we are transitioning to... Ooh, it's a big boy. After that, we are transitioning to my Breaking Bad barrel set. Got this bad boy. Pretty cheap, actually, on Amazon Prime Day a few years back. Uh, Breaking Bad, my favorite show of all time, so it was a must for me, and I love the little extras that came with it. Transitioning now, I guess we'll continue through the box sets. Game of Thrones Season 8. Terrible ending. It still looks great, and once again, I'm a completionist, so I had to get it. After that, we have Batman the Animated Series on Blu-ray. It looks amazing on Blu-ray, my favorite animated series of all time. Then we got the Batman Beyond Blu-ray set that just came out last year. Once again, looks phenomenal on Blu-ray, and another one of my favorite animated series of all time. Then we have probably my current favorite animated series, and that is Rick and Morty. This is only seasons one to three. I'm working on getting four at some point. Uh, regardless, that show is absolutely hilarious. Love it, love it, love it. Next, Friends, a show that is popular to hate on for whatever reason in the world, but the show is hilarious. It's relatable. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it and you've just been hearing negative bullshit about it, watch it for yourself. It's great. You won't regret it, I promise. I actually can't make that promise. Next, Game of Thrones, seasons one to seven. Once again, Completionist. Probably my second favorite show of all time, I would say, behind Breaking Bad. So, I had to get that bad boy. Oh, God, it's slip covers come right out on me. Now, we're into the beautiful Star Wars steelbooks. I was going to say box sets. It's not a box set. It's a steelbook. Rise of Skywalker, not much to say about it movie-wise. However, uh, steelbook-wise, it looks awfully pretty. Then, we transition into The Last Jedi, one of the most divisive movies of all time. The Steelbook, however, is not so divisive as it is gorgeous. Then we're going to the simplistic ones. We got The Force Awakens, not in 4K. This is just the standard Blu-ray one. But once again, the Steelbook looks amazing. Then we have, boom, 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 original trilogy. Working on getting the 4Ks for this one. I love this artwork, too. These all came out at once. And, like, the back of it's phenomenal. Each one of them has a prominent character on the front. And then the back are the like the official release posters and such and I thought they did a really good job on all of those 
And then of course we have the prequel trilogy. Once again, there's the front and there's the backs. I actually have all these in 4K. I was able to upgrade these. I'm working on getting the rest of the Star Wars movies that I don't have in 4K, 4K upgraded to 4K. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, fantastic movie. The steel book, the artwork is simple but great. Uh, once again, have that bad boy in 4K. Looks amazing and one of the best animated movies in recent years. Then we have a classic animated flick, Space Jam. Once again, love this artwork so much. I got this dirt cheap. Love this movie. Childhood favorite. Then we have Solo, a Star Wars story. Very underrated and very fun, actually, Star Wars flick. I wish we got a sequel to it or a Disney Plus series sequel thing. Simple yet elegant. We have Shazam. Funny movie. Great. Um, I'd say probably in the higher end of the DC movies or the DCEU. Then we got Rogue One. For some reason, my controversial pick as my second favorite Star Wars movie of all time. I adore it. Once again, working on getting the 4K. Mission Impossible Fallout. One of the best action movies of all time. One of the best movies in recent memory. Also, 10 out of 10 in 4K. Love it. Then we have the steel book for the rest of the Mission Impossible movies, which about half of them are actually really good. The other half are, are pretty skippable. Then we go into Man of Steel, working on upgrading this bad boy to 4K, but I love, again, simple yet elegant cover to it. That's probably my favorite DCEU movie. Mad Max Fury Road, arguably the best action movie of all time. One of my favorite movies of all time. Top 10 material for sure. And uh, I love this artwork. I love it a lot. I'd love to have the 4K for that one to bump up the Dolby Atmos, but uh, not quite yet. Then we have Logan, one of the best comic book movies of all time, superhero movies of all time. Hell, it's probably one of the best movies of all time in general. Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, still a crime that they weren't nominated because they actually should have won that year. Knives Out, Ryan Johnson, just like The Last Jedi, he nailed this movie too. It's superb. Watch it. Great whodunit. Modern whodunit, I guess. You don't get many of those nowadays. Kingsman, very over-the-top, fun, enjoyable, energetic spy action movie. Then we have King Kong, Peter Jackson's three-hour epic King Kong, another one of my favorite movies of all time. I've said that a lot already, but I adore this movie. I truly do. Uh, it's, yeah, it's epic. It's everything you want in the movie all jammed into one. One of my favorite movies ever. Justice League, because that's what I'm calling it. That's this version of it, although I like the reverse artwork on the steelbook an awful lot. The movie, however, is just plain garbage, so uh, yeah. John Wick, Chapter 2, probably my favorite of the John Wick movies, actually. I enjoy this one quite a lot. I like the artwork quite a lot. I don't have this one in 4K either, but regardless, the movie still absolutely slaps. The brand new Jaws, 4K Steelbook. Again, so simple, so simple. The Jaws there in the front, and then the girl swimming in the back. The 4K looks great. Amazing job on the transfer, and I love the artwork that they did for it. Interstellar, one of the best Christopher Nolan movies. Another one of the best movies of all time, in my personal opinion. Upgraded in 4K. Looks amazing in the 4K. Then we're transitioning on to Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. Top three Tarantino for me. That's all I got to say about that one. A little all over the place here. Inception. Another. Christopher Nolan. Amazing. Best movie of all time. Amazing. Artwork. Amazing. 4K. Amazing. Let's keep the train rolling, folks. Get okay, through these. Then we have two versions of Halloween. Got this one first. It's fine. This one went on sale afterwards, and I bought it when it was like $12.99. I prefer this artwork. Both of them are in 4K. Got a bit of cat fluff on there somehow. Um, prefer this one. This one's still good. Both in 4K. Amazing movies. Or amazing movie, I guess I should say, since it's the same movie. Regardless, continuing on, Gladiator, Russell Crowe, Ridley Scott, phenomenal, don't have it in 4K, but you will see this movie featured again later on in this collection. These are all like falling all over the place on me, hot damn. Ford v Ferrari, one of the best movies of last year, Christian Bale, Matt Damon, phenomenal job, James Mangold, amazing director. Elysium, Neil Blomkamp has not made a bad movie in my opinion, although I do think this is his weakest, I do still really enjoy it. Transitioning to Dread. We failed this movie at the box office. We, that's all I have to say. We failed this movie at the box office. One of the best action movies in recent memory. Really wish we got a sequel. Doesn't look like it's ever going to happen. Carl Urban, Carl Urban absolutely nailed it. Death Race. Jason Statham. Fun action movie. 2008, whatever. Tyrese Gibson's in it. Paul W.S. Anderson directed it. It's, it's fun to watch. Daniel Craig. James Bond movies. Very simple once again. These are actually the upgraded 4K versions of this one. So in case you were wondering, they look great. Chappie, once again, Neil Blomkamp has not made a bad movie, this one included. I freaking love this movie. Watch it if you haven't. It's super, super enjoyable, even if all the acting isn't that great. Clash of the Titans, again, I love this artwork. The movies, Wrath and Clash, are really bad. The artwork on these steel books, however, is the complete opposite. The artwork is super, super good. 
Then we got Mel Gibson's Braveheart in 4K. I know Mel Gibson isn't everyone's favorite person in the world. Movie looks great. Is a great movie in general. Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes, he lip sync. Yes, he still deserved the Oscar. Great movie. Queen. Love the soundtrack. Of course, because it's The Quins. Batman v Superman. I love the reverse case that they have done for this one. Ultimate Edition is the only way to watch this movie. If you're not going to watch the Ultimate Edition, don't bother to watch it at all. Batman Begins. Once again, upgraded the 4K. Great origin story. Boom. Baby Driver. 4K. One of the best action movies in recent memory. Edgar Wright. I love you. You're an amazing director. Avengers Endgame. One of the best movies of all time. One of my favorite comic book movies of all time. I cried like a baby seeing this in theaters. And I have no shame. Last couple steelbooks here. The Aquaman, as they like to say for some reason in the DCEU. They did such a great job in this movie. It's very pretty on the eyes. Or easy on the eyes. It's pretty. It looks good. Whatever you want to say. And I just think it's a great movie, honestly. It's a big, fun, dumb blockbuster popcorn flick it's a great time and then a quiet place and i also love it too because these little ripples that's not just to look fancy they actually feel like they're like cuts in the steel bookcase and they did a really good job on it and it's a great movie and i'm looking forward to the sequel and i was very disappointed that it was in fact delayed now we are moving on to this big boy here oh god there's a lot okay quick ready mm, rapid fire a zombie land double tap just as good as the original zero dark 30 great war thriller movie true story very well acted your next great slasher x-men dark phoenix very underrated i actually find this movie is pretty fun to watch and i'm sad that it's the end of the fox run of the x-men movies x-men beginnings this has first class days of future past and the other one that's escaping me apocalypse looks great in 4k honestly uh each of them are fun movies in their own right the original trilogy for the x-men movies even the last stand is enjoyable each and every one of them is good trust me 4k also looks great they did a really great job on a lot of these transfers World War Z, great modern zombie flick. Have a lot of fun with this one. Wolverine double feature. The Wolverine, very underrated. X-Men Origins is garbage, but it's still fun to watch. Watchmen Director's Cut. Zack Snyder knows how to make comic book movies. This is proof right here. Comic book page... That was English. Comic book pages come to life, ladies and gentlemen. Warrior, amazing, recent sports film. 10 out of 10, seriously. Great combat sports movie, great sports movie in general. Very well acted. War for the Planet of the Apes, Matt Reeves, the director of the upcoming The Batman. If you haven't seen this one or Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, watch them. You'll know exactly why everyone is so excited to have this guy in the director's chair. V for Vendetta, remember, remember the 5th of November. Remember this movie as well and watch it if you haven't already. And if you have, watch it again. It's great. Moving on. Lord of the Rings, extended a trilogy. The only way to watch them, the extended editions and the best trilogy of all time. The Lego Movie, a surprisingly amazing animated flick. I have a lot of fun with this movie. I don't own the sequel, though. Incredible Hulk, it is the old original Blu-ray, but look, boop, oh, hiding underneath the 4K for it. Looks great, sounds great. Actually a lot of fun, very underrated MCU flick. Then we got these four bad boys, or should I say bad girls. The Hunger Games Collection in 4K. The first two are great, the last two are not. Moving on to The Hobbit Trilogy in extended version editions i don't know what i was trying to say there hobbit extended editions i love these movies i really do Unapolog unapologetically because again english is like not my first language or anything unapologetically love these movies i've already seen the trilogy twice this year the extended editions at that have a lot of fun with them the greatest showman an amazing musical and i hate musicals but i love hugh jackman expendables movies great to see all these 80s 90s early 2000s action guys come together a lot of popcorn fun to be had with those movies Day After Tomorrow, great disaster flick. Proof that I do own the Dark Knight Trilogy in 4K, and they are in the Steelbooks. Conjuring 1, Conjuring 2, amazing. A James Wan directed horror movie, some of my favorite horror movies in recent memory. Then we have the Bourne Trilogy. I only own the original trilogy because I don't feel the need to own the Bourne Identity or Jason Bourne, so I just have that one. Uh, the trilogy, because they're amazing. Movies, great. Spy, action, awesome thriller mystery movies. Transformers Age of Extinction and the first three films. I'm working on upgrading these to 4K uh, in the near future if I can. I don't own The Last Night because it's awful. Those three are guilty pleasure at its finest for me. I absolutely adore those movies. Unapologetically, again, adore them. All four Toy Story movies. The first one is still the best one in 4K and the detail in the 4K was actually quite stunning. Three Billboards, one of the best movies of that year. Very, very well acted. Sam Rockwell deserved everything he got for it. And so did uh, Francis McDormand, which is amazing as well. All three four, Thor, I was going to say all three Thor movies. That doesn't make any sense. All three Thor movies in 4K. 
Ragnarok is easily the best. That's top tier MCU in my mind. Wolf of Wall Street, Martin Scorsese, Leonardo DiCaprio, and it's their best work for both of them, in my humbled opinion. The Revenant, Alejandro G. Inari 2, directed the shit out of this movie. Very, very good. And it's very, it's a special movie. They use natural lighting and stuff. And Leo actually won the Oscar for it, so good for Leo. Polar Express, I love this movie. Fight Me, one of the best Christmas movies out there. That's why I'm saying Fight Me. I love it. And then, oh, I'll hold up all three of these. One, two, three, the Maze Runner movies. Again, fun, just kind of popcorn, you know, young adult action flick, you know, novel movies. Good times. The Matrix movies. Don't bother after the first one. Just watch the first one and be happy that you got that and it was as good as it was. The Martian, Ridley Scott, Matt Damon at their best. This movie is a 10 out of 10. Loved that ever since I first saw it. Schindler's List, very dark, very depressing, but very necessary watching if you got the stomach for it. Saw, I think it's all the movies. What is it, the first uh, seven? Yeah, seven movies. Doesn't have Jigsaw in it. Torture porn, if you're into that kind of thing. I'm really not, but, you know, it's it's Halloween viewing, so why not? Saving Private Ryan, my favorite war movie of all time. The Stallone Rocky flicks. It has all of them except for the Kree movies. I grew up watching these movies. I love these movies so, so much. They hold a very special place in my heart. Rocket Man. Didn't know it was a musical. Found out when I got to the theater, and I loved it either way. Taron Edgerton should have also won the Oscar. He did really, really good. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Not directed by Matt Reeves, but a very solid starting point for that trilogy. Resident Evil movies, guilty pleasure written all over them. That's what they should be called. I really do enjoy these movies. I watch them, honestly, like once a year, even though they're awful. Real Steel, great robot, sci-fi, sports, boxing movie. And once again, Hugh Jackman, whom I love. So, great job to him. Ready Player One, not as good as the book. Looks great in 4K. Still a lot of fun to watch. Pulp Fiction, second best Tarantino movie. Still, I mean, it, it, it's aged like a fine wine. It's very, very good. Prometheus, never understand the hate for it. Looks good on 4K. It's still a great movie since its release. Predator, Predator 2, and Predators, because it's very unique at naming these movies. They're fine. Even, honestly, even the first one, I just think it's fine. But, you know, they're enjoyable to a certain degree. Da -da 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 -da. Do I have all of them? I think I have all of them. God. Yeah. All five of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, I think they're great. The first three are great. The last two, eh, not so much. But the first three, I think it's a really solid trilogy, and I watch those very frequently. Patriot's Day, Great True Story, Mark Wahlberg and Peter Berg, all six Paranormal Activity movies. Again, the first one, and then you got the rest of them. But the first one, you know, again, essential Halloween time viewing. Pacific Rim, disappointing sequel, still looks great in 4K. The first one, a surprise hit, a ton of fun, great monster movie. Overlord, very underrated horror slash war movie. I love the shit out of that movie. It's so freaking good. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I was like let down by this movie to a certain degree, being a big Tarantino fan, but the performances are great, the setting's great, a lot about it is great, just as a whole, I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. Nightcrawler, should have been Jake Gyllenhaal's Oscar, sorry, one of his many Oscars, MIB trilogy, fun, early 2000s, goofy sci-fi comedy movies, the third one is the best, once again, fight me, because there's just no denying that the third one's easily the best, me, myself, and Irene, great, kind of raunchy Jim Carrey comedy, Jim Carrey, ho oh, ho, Jim Carrey comedy, even though he's a bit loony nowadays, Amazing Spider-Man 2, put that down right there, and The Amazing Spider-Man, I could also put that one down right there, they're fun, I'm joking, they're fun, they're fun to watch, I enjoy them to a certain degree, as I am a big Spider-Man fan, but, you know, they are what they are, Titanic, it's amazing it really is honestly again another one popular to hate on nowadays but it truly is it's a masterpiece terminator movies i think it has one two yeah one two three salvation i mean a mixed bag the first two are amazing three and salvation you can kind of take them or leave them star trek trilogy i love this repo trilogy so much i really really do i wish that um what's his face jj abrams kept coming back for these and made more of them instead of transitioning to star wars Southpaw, very emotionally driven sports movie. It's really, really good. Jake Gyllenhaal, again, could have easily won the Oscar. Split. This movie is proof as to why James McAvoy is one of the best working today. So please watch it. Spider-Man Far From Home and Homecoming. I don't love these as much as most other people. Um, but, you know, they're fun. They are, they're good Spider-Man movies. They're good MCU movies. And I do enjoy them to a certain degree. But this is where it's really at. Say what you want about them. Maybe you're a newbie and, you know, that you think they haven't aged well. I grew up watching these movies. This is my first cinema memory right here. And I really do love these movies. Even if the third one doesn't hold up as well as the first two. I still, I really do love those movies. 
Spectre, I just owned this one on the side till I got the 4Ks. It's an okay Bond movie. Sin City 1 and 2, the first one is definitely superior, but I still think this one is, is worth watching. I still think it's, it's well done. It's well made. I love coming back to those movies. Scream 1, 2, 3, and 4, essential. Halloween viewing, the first one is still the best, though. <clears throat> Inception, again, proof that I own it in 4K, even though I have it in the Steelbook. Only got this and this and a few others that are packed in here somewhere because when we bought our 3D TV and our 3D Blu-ray player, you were able to pick out a couple movies and me and my siblings were only super young, except for this movie. I love iRobot. This is one of the movies I've rewatched the most in my entire life, and I adore it. Harry Potter trilogy, and by trilogy I mean 8 film collection because it's the same thing. One of the best movie series, franchises, book series of all time. Uh, hands down, no doubt about it. Halloween movies, essential Halloween viewing of course. The first one is still very much easily the best though. The rest of them are watchable here and there. Hacksaw Ridge, very violent, very brutal, but well acted and amazing. War movie, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield just deserved all the recognition he got. Guardians 1 and 2, don't own one on 4K just yet. Great movies, James Gunn. You know, he puts his own little magical spin on them. Godzilla, it's a bit boring, but when you get the base really bumping on this bad boy and the monsters are throwing down, it is great. I don't own the sequel, but I'm working on getting that one in 4K as well. Glass, bit of a letdown, but it's still watchable, still enjoyable. Gladiator, told you to see it again. But then also Troy, great Swords and Sandals movie. Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street reboot, both of them in there, as well as Freddy vs. Jason. All of them are honestly super enjoyable, just kind of guilty pleasure horror flicks. This movie, I cannot talk about. Fate of the Furious. A big step down. I was going to say a bit of, but then a big. Uh, I just, I think it's a step down from the previous few movies. Furious 7, aside from the emotional weight that it carries from Paul Walker's death, I still think it's a great, awesome, over-the-top action movie. It's a lot of fun to be had in that one. 1 to 6, I still think the 5th is the best one, but I do have fun with pretty much all of them. The two Fantastic Beasts films, really wish they would just wrap it up after the third one rather than trying to push for the five. The first one is a lot of fun, the second one was a bit of a letdown. Dunkirk, one of the best looking and sounding movies of all time, but a total letdown when it comes to everything else, story, characters, any sort of emotion at all. Non-existent, my least favorite Christopher Nolan movie, but I still have seen it like three or four times, so you know, goes to show you how much I love that guy. Dodgeball, early 2000s, raunchy comedy that I adore. I've seen this movie again, one of the movies I've rewatched the most in my entire life. Transitioning to do 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 Looper. We got Looper again. Proof that Ryan Johnson is in fact one of the best directors working today. Lone Survivor again. A team up between Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg. Great true story war flick. Lived I repeat. Edge of Tomorrow. All you need is kill. Too many names for one really good movie. Hopefully we get that sequel at some point that we were promised. Kong Skull Island, probably the best of the monster verse that they have going right now. It's not anywhere near Peter Jackson's version, but I do still think it's a ton of fun to watch. Kingsman the Golden Circle, in my mind, every bit as enjoyable as the original. I'm very excited for the third one and the King's Man. Kick-Ass 1 and 2, great comedy flicks. The second one was a step down, a major step down from the first one, but I would still love to see that completed as a trilogy. All of the Jurassic Park's Last World movies, they're kind of hit or miss. My least favorite is the second one, my favorite being the first one, but I do think that each of them kind of have their merits here and there. Joker, unnecessarily hated on by a lot of people. I think it deserved all the love that it got. Walking Phoenix deserved the Oscar, and it's one of my favorite movies in recent memory. I adore that movie. The first John Wick, I think it's better than the third one, not quite as good as the second one, but Keanu Reeves, you know, he's like 50-something, and he's still killing it. This guy's amazing. He's breathtaking, I should say. It Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 in the 4Ks. These movies are great. Really, if you put them together, it is one great full story, even if the second one drags on just a bit too much, I think. It's a bit too bloated for its own good. Then you got, boom, 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 Iron Man 1, 2, and 3 all in the 4K. The 4K transfers again. Marvel, Disney did a great job with those transfers. Proof that I own Interstellar in 4K and it's in my steelbook. Indiana Jones, some of the best, if not the best, adventure movies of all time. Harrison Ford, Steven Spielberg, A Match Made in Heaven, and Raiders of the Lost Ark is still the best one. <coughs> oh my god, I'm running out of voice to speak with. Birdman, in oh god, the extremely long subtitle. I don't think it deserved all the love it got. I got it because it still says on there. The tag is still on there. I don't even know if I've watched this since I bought it. It was like nine bucks. It's fine. It's good, you know. Watch this right here. Animated movie, you can watch it in two parts or one very long two and a half hour animated flick. It's better than Batman v Superman, believe me. It faithfully adapts the source material and it's incredible. 
the Batman anthology. So that's Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Um, I only usually watch the first two, but you know what? It was in a cool case, so I bought that for pretty cheap. Back to the Future Trilogy, some of the most rewatched movies of all time for me. I grew up loving these movies, still love them to this very day. One of the best trilogies ever made. Then we got, oh, I'll move all three of these. The Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, and Avengers Infinity War. Some of the best superhero movies out there. Some of the best movies in recent memory and some of my favorite cinema memories. Avatar, unnecessarily hated on. Amazing movie. James Cameron, he broke around with this bad boy here. Austin Powers Trilogy, love these movies. Raunchy, stupid comedies. Ant-Man 1 and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Only own Ant-Man and the Wasp in 4K. Looking to upgrade Ant-Man to 4K in the near future if I can. Alvin and the Chipmunks. I don't know why I own this. I don't even know if it's actually mine. I have no idea how it got in there. Alita Battle Angel. We need a sequel. Alien vs. Predator. Guilty Pleasure Territory. At least for the first one. The second one's garbage because you can't see anything that's going on. Alien Covenant. It's grown on me. I didn't love it when I first saw it and over a few rewatches. I do enjoy it. Uh, I still think it was a bit of a letdown but it does have some fun in it. The Alien Anthology has the first four films in here. You only need to watch the first two, and Aliens is, in fact, the best one. All the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, except for the reboot, and uh, the first one is amazing, of course. And then the third one, Sh Dream Warriors. I was going to say Street Warriors. Dream Warriors might actually be my favorite. I don't know. It's tough competition between those two. A Christmas Carol, probably my favorite Christmas movie. It's the Jim Carrey animated version. I love that movie. 300 and 300 Rise of an Empire. Again, Zack Snyder knows how to make a graphic novel comic book movie. This is proof right here. Love it. And I think this is actually an underrated sequel that's also a ton of fun. And I would love to actually see a third one in that franchise as well. 28 Days Later, working on finding somewhere to buy weeks later. As I prefer weeks by like this little bit. But Danny Boyle killed it. Best zombie movies of all time. 28 Days and Weeks Later. And we're already on our last stack. Oh, I put that way too close to myself and I said that with a weird accent. Doctor Strange, um, I like this movie actually, I really do like it, I'm very much looking forward to Multiverse of Madness, I don't own the 4K yet, that's another one that I have to upgrade, I only have this one, the first Guardians and the first Ant-Man left to upgrade to 4K, but I'll probably keep this case honestly, I like this case a lot, and it has the 3D Blu-ray, so I'll probably keep that as well. Django Unchained, my favorite movie of all time, my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie of course. District 9, Neil Blomkamp's best work out of the three big budget movies that he's made. And I do not want a sequel like many people do for some reason. One of my favorite movies of all time. Die Hard Collection, only watch the first one and with a vengeance. The second one's fine, the rest are not. Defiance, great Daniel Craig movie, wartime movie. And it's honestly very underrated. Not many people talk about this movie anymore. Deepwater Horizon, once again, Marky Mark and Peter Berg making a true story. And I actually cried at the end of this movie when it was showing all the real life people. It was, it was very sad. It was very emotional. Deadpool 1 and 2. I think the sequel is just ever so slightly better, but they're both hilarious. And I am so happy that they ended up being R-rated like they should be. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, my favorite of that trilogy. And again, Matt Reeves is a director. If you're excited for the Batman, watch this and War for the Planet of the Apes. Please and thank you. And the 4K looks great. Proof that I own the Daniel Craig movies in 4K. Probably need to say about that one. Creed 1 and Creed 2. Love Creed 1. Creed 2 I do enjoy quite a bit, although I think it's a bit more foolish. Captain Marvel, unnecessarily hated on Marvel movie. I think it's still a ton of fun. Brie Larson, I don't know why she got all the hate she did. The girl wanted diversity and a lot of you screamed at her. Good movie. Um, the three... Oh, God, sorry. Uh, I forgot them. The three... Actually, four Captain America movies. I upgraded all my Captain America movies to 4K, but I kept this one for multiple reasons. I like the 3D. I have a 3D TV. I like the case. And it was the first MCU movie that I got. Uh, my girlfriend gifted it to me for Christmas, and that started my collecting of the MCU movies. So it holds symbolic value as well. Bumblebee, arguably the best Transformers movie. And again, the 4K looks great. Very grounded, very good. Blade Runner, the original one, the final cut, as well as Blade Runner 2049, one of the best movies of all time, better than the original, even though the original is still amazing and groundbreaking for its time, this is where it's at, amazing cinematography, amazing score, amazing visuals, amazing performances, it's just amazing all around, seriously, top 10 of all time for me, watch 2049 if you haven't already, but make sure you watch this one first, and I'd probably suggest the final cut if you were going to do so. Last but certainly not least, and why does this feel like it's making me slightly emotional this happened to be the last one we went over, Black Panther, I'm still not over it. The fact that Chadwick Boseman is gone has still not set in for me. 
this movie is so important and we need to hold this near and dear for the rest of our lives. It, it broke ground. It really didn't. I've been saying that a lot, but it broke so many barriers for so many different reasons. I adore this movie and I'm going to miss Chadwick Boseman so very much. I don't think I'll ever be able to watch this movie again without crying. And even right now, I'm almost welling up a little bit. Hold this movie near and dear. No matter your thoughts on this movie, if you love it, if you hate it, just remember how important it is for so many people. All right, so there was a bit of a screw up in my recording on the camera. It only missed like 10 or 15 seconds. The video was going for so long that when it transitioned over to keep going, it kind of messed up. So we lost about 10 or 15 seconds in there. So I got these with me. I just want to finish my thoughts on the Creed movies. I was just saying how I find the first one is the superior one. I find it's more grounded, more realistic. And Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan nailed it. And Sylvester Stallone deserved the Oscar. As much as I do enjoy the second one, I do think it's a bit goofier. It's a bit more out there. It's more like the Rocky movies or like the later Rocky movies. However, I do love that they brought Dolph Lundgren back, and I love the whole, like, revenge, redemption tale between, like, the Drago clan and, you know, and, and Michael B. Jordan as Creed and things like that. So I really enjoyed that stuff about it, and I thought it was also very well directed. And then the one we missed somehow was the Cornetto trilogy, Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. That really should be all that I have to say. I adore those movies, some of the best comedies of all time. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And that's it. My God, my throat hurts. I feel like there's a hole in my esophagus that shouldn't be there. Thank you all for watching. If you got through the entire video, awesome. That's great. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, that's my collection. I'm, it's, you know, it's ever expanding, ever growing. I try to buy movies as much as I can, but I'm also a bit of a cheapskate. So I try to get them on sale off eBay and things like that as much as I can or wait for like Black Friday sales. But uh, regardless, I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm grabbing my clapboard between my legs here. And as always, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. And that's a wrap. Hey you. Yeah you. If you made it this far, just know I appreciate you. And while you're here, consider hitting that subscribe button.